Hello everyone, Marshmallow Fanboy back with another review. This time of the Masters of the Rev Universe Revelation Battle Cat. Deluxe, detail, sculpt, articulation. It looks awesome. It's enormous in the package. Let me turn this around here. This is a really cool portrait. Um, my same comment with uh, Andra when I did that review was that it would have been nice to have this as sort of a write-up with the photo, this art, right next to it. Something that I could cut out of the back of it. This is just a really amazing, uh, really amazing art. And of course, you could take the mask off for Cringer. It's very cool as well. So to give you an idea of how massive it is inside the package, got He-Man from the same series. And he's pretty small next to next to Battle Cat. They made Battle Cat pretty massive. They didn't spare a whole lot of expense on making this thing enormous. And, and building him out like he's a tank. So let's crack him open, see what we think. Okay, now that he's out of the package, let's take a closer look. The first thing I really liked is just like all of the other Deluxe Masterverse, and regular figures too, comes with this cool gray stone backdrop. No graphics in it, no, no big obnoxious pictures or text or anything. You can use this for display. Or you can lay it flat and use it as a the ground of Castle Grayskull or something. I like that. The the figure have, was inside a bubble, but that bubble wasn't physically attached to that backdrop. So let's tackle Battle Cat. First, he looks awesome. Had a little little dot of yellow paint there, but that'd probably uh rub off. Looks amazing from just about every angle. And uh, it moves just the way you would expect it to. He can't look completely sideways, which is a bummer. It'd be cool if He-Man... There could be a side profile. He-Man is, is facing the side. And Battle Cat could face, face directly this way. But his head only has... Take off the, the mask. He only has maybe a little bit of side to side. Oops, I moved the whole camera on that one. He only has a little bit of side to side uh, as far as, as head movement. He can go there, there to there. Very, very slight, there to there. The Cringer portrait looks amazing. The head goes up and down, that's nice. Cringer looks down a lot, so I feel like that's completely an appropriate position for Cringer. The saddle comes off too, I'm not going to take that off, but the... But the joints on this thing are really nice. The Where it connects to the body, it moves back and forth. But where it connects maybe to the leg, there's a little bit of rotation. And there is sort of a secondary joint there that bends like that too. And the paws move a bit too. That's nice. A lot of posability in the, in the legs. Uh... All the way around. Just a really solid character. Really solid addition to the line. Let's put the mask back on. I also like how the the features of the mask are painted on. So that you don't have to position it just right to see his eyes through. Because that could be obnoxious. Real obnoxious. Actually. Oh, I like that. It looks like he's coming right at the camera. So this figure is nice. Very, very nice. It's just a giant, giant uh, sculpt. I think he is larger than the Origins Battle Cat. Actually, I had the Origins Battle Cat out a little bit, a bit ago. He is bigger than the Origins Battle Cat. And he just looks massive and impressive. And as I remember... In the Revelations cartoon, even when he was Cringer, he didn't look like he was real tiny, but he didn't look as massive. But here's the thing, like, you're not really going to play him, play with him as Cringer much. 
you're probably going to either play with him or display him as Battle Cat. So this was a great addition to the collection. I have both Battle Cats. Man, I'm, I'm hoping that they come out with a, a, uh, a flocked Origins Battle Cat. That'd be cool. They did come out with a flocked Battle Cat Rides for Funko Pop this past year. It's a convention exclusive. I think Target was the only one who had it, so I picked it up at Target. And so I have the Panthor, the flocked Panthor Pop and Origins figure. And it'd be cool to have a matching set of Battle Cats, but we'll see. You know, the they're not done putting out figures, and I'm not buy, done buying them. So we will see. All right, I hope you enjoyed this review.